y'all welcome to be your four creations it's your girl brian and y'all i am back i am back i am back i have missed you guys so much first before i even start this video i just want to say thank you for the continued support thank you for the continued love even when i wasn't making a video y'all i seen all the comments questions i'm gonna get to them i'm gonna get to them but listen y'all we're gonna get into it today you know i'm back with another crafting video because you know how i do but let me just tell y'all something I have procrastinated, okay? I have procrastinated so long. I keep saying I'm gonna make a video, saying I'm gonna make a video, saying I'm gonna make a video, and it never happens because you know what? I always, you know, everybody always complain about life. But my cousin, she just started her YouTube video. Go follow. I'm gonna put her link in the description below, and I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of time to go follow her. It's case closed, so go follow. Okay, so yeah. Hope y'all follow her because if you didn't, y'all gonna be missing out on her and my beautiful niece. But anywho, in her video, and I ain't gonna tell you what she said in her video because y'all need to go watch. But but go watch that video, y'all, because it's popping, it's popping, it's popping. But anywho, it basically was just like how I was doing, how I was feeling, you know, in my life. So I'm back and I'm better because I can't keep making excuses. And guess what? Today we gonna do um christmas ornament it's christmas time so we're gonna get it on and popping with the christmas ornaments and the glitter christmas ornaments because i told my kids i was gonna make it with them this year so i was like why not make a video why not why not why not but anywho so i'm gonna tell y'all what all y'all need and we're gonna get into it so of course you need the ornament i got this ornament from dollar tree they got all sizes so we're going to be doing a big one and a small one today um, of course, you're going to need your glitter. So these bottles, I don't know where I got these bottles from. I ain't even going to lie to y'all. I found them in my stash. But they're like, um, I don't even know like what they called or whatever. But I got them. You can probably get them from Michaels or somewhere. That's probably where I got them from Hobby Lobby or something like that. But I'm going to use this. But the glitter that I use, y'all already know I rock with Glitter Glam. If you watch my other videos, you know I only use Glitter Glam right now. I love their glitters. They have all type of glitters. Go get them. Go get them. Go check them out. But the yellow glitter I'm using right now is Banana Ram from Glitter Glam. And I will post their link in the description box. And then the other one I'm using is Azori. Okay. So that's the glitter I'm going to be using. You're also going to need um, polyurethane. This is what I use. And I kind of already took the top off. Yeah, y'all. It's all. Uh, is it backwards? But anywho, the polyurethane. You want to make sure you get the glossy kind, y'all. Don't get that matte stuff because that matte stuff ain't going to work. Okay. And I actually put my polyurethane. Um, in this cup so that's what that's gonna be y'all um and then you're gonna need like a syringe or something to put it in there like some people use like a syringe to put it actually in the bulb but me i just gonna use this cup because you know i make it happen make it do what i what i got and i got this little mat because y'all know i don't like mess but i got this little mat just for this just for crafting i got this from the dollar tree so y'all didn't see some videos with this because y'all know how i do okay all right. Oh, and you also gonna need like a cup. I put my, I use my cup to kind of put it and let the uh, polyurethane drain out and after it's sit. So first things first, what we are gonna do is you need to get your, and y'all pause, wear some gloves, okay? And don't talk about my broken nail. Don't judge me, judge somebody else. But my nail broke, hanging something on my wall. So don't judge me. But you gonna need some gloves y'all because the first, if this is your first time doing it, it's gonna be messy. And if you don't like sticky, that's gonna be your problem so you're gonna put some gloves on but i'm good in this video so the first thing first you're gonna get your bulb okay and then you're gonna get your poly um polyurethane okay and like i said i'm just using a cup so what you know you can use whatever you can use to get it in the funnel whatever you want to use but you're going to pour it in there you're going to pour it very like slow so it don't get bubbles because if you pour it fast it's going to be bubbles okay so that should be enough this is like a three inch i think um um ornament so now you just literally gonna turn it like this and you're gonna keep turning so you can cover the whole bulb and you want to make sure you get these edges too so you see how them edges like that you want to make sure you get them too so sometimes it can be a little messy and what i like to do is i like to get my cup or the thing that is in and kind of just put it over there so it can fall back in there but you want to make sure you want to make sure you get all of that y'all 
all of it. So you can see it's kind of clearing up right here. Okay, so now what I do is I kind of hit it, get all the excess out, and then like that, I get as much out as I can, and then I set it on top of this cup so it can drain, and I let it sit for about 20, 30 minutes maybe, um, just until it gets clear, and I'll show you what it means because I already got some cooking and baking and cooking and baking. Now, this one, I don't have a um, cup to fit it, so I'm actually just going to sit it on here. And be very careful because it will spill. And like I said, do not go too fast because um, it will bubble up. So as y'all can see, I'm just making it even all around. As y'all can see, it's good. So I'm gonna pour the excess out in here as much as I can so I don't waste it. And then I'm just gonna sit this, I'm actually gonna sit this um, on the top of the polyether. So you find something to sit it on and you can sit it on that, okay? All right, we're gonna move that out the way. So this one I have already been working on. We're gonna move these out the way because I already had some ready so I can make the video, but I have my small one there and I have my big one here. So as you can see, it's still kind of clear. They've been sitting for about 20, 30 minutes. So we're gonna work with the small one first and I'm gonna make the small one just yellow. We're gonna make it yellow. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the glitter and we're just gonna pour it in there all right, like that. And we're gonna kind of just move it like that. So the same way you did the polyethrin, polyurethrin, y'all know what I'm talking about. You're gonna do it like that. You're gonna do it just like that. Okay, of course there's gonna be glitter left over, so I like to just get me a plate and just kinda do it like that. And kinda just shake over the plate so it can get everywhere. And that's that, and you let it dry. Okay, and then y'all know me, I don't waste glitter cause glitter too expensive. I put all the SS glitter right back. Cause y'all know I don't, I don't I don't waste glitter up in here. All right. So the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna do the big one. And as you see, it's clear. Um, and we're gonna take the blue. You're gonna put glitter and you're gonna roll. You're gonna roll just like you did the polyurethrin. You're gonna roll. And then once you get it like that, what I like to do is I like to get like a napkin or something and just shake so I can get all the SS. You can get all the SS, right? You see how that is? You wanna get all the SS out. Not out, but you want to get it all around. Uh oh, y'all, I didn't mess up that. All right, you see how that is? Right that. And then, of course, tap, get all the SS out. Right? Y'all see that? And just set it on the side. And then, y'all know me. I put the glitter back. I put it back in the, um, the original container. I do not waste glitter. All right. And that's that, y'all. That's the basics. And you're going to go ahead and put your... You're going to let it dry, though, first. 
And after it dries, you're going to go and put your clip back on. That's what you're going to do. But you're not going to have no hard time like me putting your clip on. But you're going to put your clip back on like that. Hold on, y'all, because I'm having a hard time here. Oh, there you go. You're going to put that clip back in there like that and put that back on there. And you're going to make sure it's tight so it don't come off. Yes. Boom. Y'all see that? And you got to let it dry too, y'all. But bam, hang it on your Christmas tree. Okay. The next video I'm going to show y'all is I'm going to show y'all how I add the vinyl and the words on it. Because that's what we're going to do next, right? So that's that. And then you're going to get your small one. Y'all hear my cat back here? That's my cat running around, if y'all can hear that. I don't even know if y'all can hear it. But that's my cat running around. Y'all know me. I'm the only one who be having a hard time doing putting these things on. I should have took it apart, but y'all know me. I do things the hard way, right? So, you're going to do it like that. Bam. Put that back on there. And that's your yellow one. Y'all see that? Bam, boom. So now you got your glitter custom globes. All right, y'all. So thank you for watching this video. Like I said, I'm back. I'm gonna be trying to. I'm gonna try to post a video at least once a week on something different, something crafty. But like I said, y'all know how I do. Y'all know how I be. So. Stay tuned, subscribe, hit that bell button so you can get the notifications. And my next video, I'll be posting a video on how I put the vinyl on the ornaments. All right. Love you all. Bye.